Hey, Martin Newmark here from HouseKnowHow.com. In this video, I'm going to describe the anatomy uh, inside an electrical panel. Before I begin, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel, little red button down below. Thanks. First, before I even touch this electrical panel or, or open the cover, I touch it with the back of my hand so that in the rare circumstance that this um, uh, box is energized, uh, my hand will recoil like this, okay? When, when our muscles uh, get hit with an electrical current, the muscles contract, okay? So if I did it like this, muscles contracting would, uh, you know, push my hand against it. Whereas if I do this, it's going to pull my hand away. Okay, so that's how I uh, first make sure that it's safe to even open the panel. So this is the panel. And, and this is essentially the panel box. This is the panel cover. Under the cover, there's a, usually a tab uh, to uh, lock it shut and uh, so you can't, so the wind won't blow it open and stuff. Then, when you open it up, there's a cover, another cover. This is called the dead front cover, okay? It's called dead front because it's not live, it's not hot, it's not energized. Uh, I guess back in the day they used to have energized covers in some industry or in Somewhere they had uh, live covers, and so they call this a dead front cover. Okay, here you see we have labels. Here you have the main breaker in this panel. Sometimes a main breaker will be down here with all the other breakers. Okay, so these are the circuit breakers that go to branch circuits. These are knockouts. In order to put in a circuit breaker, you need to remove a knockout. If the knockout is removed and you don't put in a breaker, uh, you need to put a little plastic uh, placeholder in there to cover uh, that opening because if if it's uh, if this is missing, there's hot uh, electrical plates uh, behind there that uh, you don't want to be able to reach in and touch. Okay. This right here, this is a double breaker. It's for a range, which is 240 volts. And so it needs 220 volt circuits, okay? In order to have, if, if one of these breakers trips, you want the other one too, so it actually has a handle tie between it, okay? Now we're gonna go inside this panel. I'm gonna take this screw out and take this front cover off. So we'll take this screw out. And let's we'll see what's inside here. So once we get inside this panel, uh, I'm gonna describe parts as electricity flows. So electricity is coming in from our meter into our panel the big uh, black co covered wires are coming in. Uh, the two hot legs, uh, both 120 volt, are coming down into the, um, uh, these are lugs for, uh, to connect the wires into our um, uh, main breaker. Okay, so that's the main breaker. Sometimes these main breakers are in line on the side here with uh, the other breakers. So it might be at the top um, uh, top breaker there. So you have to just kind of look and see um, what the wiring tells you is going on. From the main breaker, we go into the hot bus bars, which are these metal plates back here. Uh, my finger is about three inches away from that. Uh, do not touch. Uh, in fact, I do not recommend you open these a panel up like this by yourself. Um, if you do, uh, I would recommend turning power off to the entire building here, uh, but that will still leave those two lugs up on top hot, but nothing down below it. Okay, so electricity flows down through 
the hot bus bars into the breakers. These are branch circuit breakers, okay? So it goes from the breaker, uh, which is essentially a switch that automatically turns off, into the branch circuit wiring. So then electricity goes into the branch wiring, and that branch wiring uh, wanders uh, through your home, and it goes into outlets, switches, ovens, water heaters, furnaces, anything that uses electricity is controlled or, or gets its electricity from these circuit breakers. Okay, And then electricity needs a complete circuit uh, in order to flow. So it goes out on the black wires or red wires and then it comes back via the neutral or white insulated wires. And they're coming into these uh, uh, bus bars in the back. Now these bus bars are, you can see all the screws on that metal bus bar in the back. Uh, those bus bars, including this one over here, you can see there's a black plate behind the bus bar. That plastic plate behind the bus bar uh, makes it so that the the neutral bus bar floats. It does not touch the electrical panel. So electricity comes back in through the white wires into the, the neutral bus bar back there and then finally into this white tape wrapped uh, uh, cable in the back that loops back down back in there and then heads back into the uh, meter panel and finally back to the power company's transformer. Okay, so that's how it makes its complete circuit. Some other wires that are in here is the grounding system and that's all these bare copper wires back in here. And you can see since this is a main panel, these bare copper wires are hooked through this bar to the um, neutral uh, wires. Now the neutral wires are also called grounded conductors. They're actually connected to ground. And you can, it's obvious here in this panel that they are. They're all connected to the same thing. Um, but the neutral wires are the ones that carry current. Uh, the ground wires should never be carrying current, okay? They're just there uh, for safety purposes, and we'll talk about that in a different video. One other feature of this panel is this ground strap right there. It's a little metal bar that's under a lug on the neutral panel, and it connects the uh, the neutral bus bar, and it connects the neutral bus bar to the panel itself, thereby grounding the panel itself. Now these big wires over here, these great big bare copper wires, those are uh, grounding conductors. They go off to uh, grounding rods, probably one down below this deck. Uh, maybe another one to uh, plumbing pipes somewhere, and then um, one goes somewhere else. We don't know exactly where at this point. That's essentially the anatomy of an electrical panel. If you like this video, please uh, click the thumbs up in the uh, above the description, and if you haven't done so already, please. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, pardon my shaky hands. I have a bit of a tremor. It's a gift from my grandmother, who I love very much, and it's just the way it is. Thanks. Talk to you later.